Jazzware Toys, I, I just want to reason with you for a second. This is I know you're very excited that you got the Halo license and 2020 was a good year for you, but you can't produce this many new sets in such a small amount of time. You're drunk with power. Don't you realize, Simon? There's no stopping us now. Nonny. <laughs> Hello once again, YouTube, and welcome back to The Domain. Jazzware edition once again. Jazzware, Jazzware. Didn't even know the name last year, but now I've made dozens of videos on you guys. This is crazy. This is crazy. If you guys are not keeping up to date, over the last year, Jazzware has acquired the Halo license and been producing toys of actually a very high degree of quality. We've got the World of Halo scale, our three and three quarter inch action figures with vehicles named characters galore, all centered around Halo Infinite. And then you've got the Jazzware Spartan collection, six inch figures, highly detailed, more detailed than World of Halo, but a little more expensive with more accessories accessories, interchangeable hands, all that business. They look phenomenal. But we're focusing on the world of Halo today. I've done loads of news videos on this series so far. Recently, we've just got the reveal of series three of the world of Halo scale and a two scale shade turret and gun goose and then a mantis. A mantis, guys. Can you imagine? So Jazzware, they're going crazy. I thought we definitely heard the last of them for a while and then boom. We got this bad boy. This news today is from Brian MCX on Instagram. He found the UNSC checkpoint. 28 pieces with a Spartan Gungnir, elite mercenary, 10 terrain base plates, and a ton of UNSC weapons and equipments. This thing is nuts. Like, actually nuts. Actually nuts. We've got so much in this set. And let me give you a little bit of history. McFarlane, when they were at the height of their power, they released Halo Reach weapons packs, and they were just weapons. Gorgeously detailed, all your favorite Reach weapons, and they were one of the best things I've ever bought, toy-wise. I used to just be in love with them. They were so hard to get, but just so worth it. I've always thought, like, ah, uh, Mega Construct should do this. Like, Jazzware should do this. I thought Mattel should have done it when they had the toy license. This is brought to fruition, and then even more so. So first of all, we've got the figures. The Gungnir and the Elite Mercenary. The Elite Mercenary, I love. Can't wait to get more Elite Mercenaries. The Gungnir, I think it's weird color choices. The blue is just very... It, just from this packaging, it looks like luminescent a bit. Like, I don't really think it looks that detailed, but it has a really great ammo belt, good chest, nice helmet. The Gungnir is something that they released a Spartan collection figure of, and I thought that one looked amazing. So this looks great. The Elite comes with a needler, but the Elite is far outgunned. This Spartan comes with a sniper rifle, Sputnik rocket launcher, a chain machine gun. He's got an assault rifle, Hydra, commando, and battle rifle. Like, what? <laughs> that is so many. I'm looking at this, like, I've been staring at this picture for a while while making this video, and still, I'm like, damn, that is crazy. It looks like he's got some equipment, what I would think is the drop wall. This massive, like, actually massive, massive ammo crate, which is always like, when you think about it, if a toy company is releasing all these weapons, why not just add a bit more plastic and put them in a really cool case? I'm all about this. That elite is screwed, but he is gonna try and put up a fight. He's just gonna get a good needle around off on that gung near. He'll pop his shield. But this looks insane. Like, actually insane. 10 terrain bases included. I don't even know what that means. I assume they might be those small hexagonal base plates that we've had in the World of Halo scale before. This is nuts, guys. Um, also, this is a slightly less edited video than usual. I'm going on holiday tomorrow, but I wanted to get this out and show you all the news. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this set. The weapons look really detailed. It's also nice to see the Hydra in there. The Commander. Oh, man. It's like, I don't even need to buy any other sets. I'll just buy this. And then like a couple of Spartans. The Sputnika doesn't look very detailed. It might just be this picture, but the sniper rifle looks like it's got some good paint. The chain machine gun, out of all things, looks insane. Like actually insane. This set is like wild. I've never seen a toy company make a set like this. I know I'm like very dramatic about Jazzware right now, but I see the potential. I see that they are like expanding really fast. I'm really excited about that. And I think if we just push 
Jazzware, like we really support their releases, then we might even get some things like a Pelican or a Phantom in the future. I just wanted to share one more toy with you before we go today. This is another Jazzware toy, the 20th anniversary Halo Master Chief bundle. This thing looks gorgeous. That Halo Combat Evolved Master Chief looks gorgeous. And the Jazzware Halo Infinite Master Chief looks great too. I've seen a lot of people criticizing this because we don't need another Halo Infinite Master Chief. And if we do get one, it needs to be different or at least have the grapple shot. This looks exactly like the old ones. And I think some people don't want to buy both when they just want the Combat Evolved figure. I think honestly, just be patient because this is the 20th anniversary and I think they might re-release that Combat Evolved figure anyway. This is the Spartan collection. So this is six inch, not three and three quarter. They look, uh, wow. They look great. I mean, the assault rifle also shows a direct comparison between CE and Infinite, which I dig, especially the Infinite one just looking exactly like Halo Reach. I will try and pick this up myself. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get hold of it, but it looks gorgeous. Only available at GameStop as well, so let me know if there's a GameStop in your area. But these are both exceptional. Jazzware, I wish you the very best of luck this year. You're gonna kill it. Like, this is absolutely fantastic. This was another video with The Domain, guys. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. If you did, please make sure to like this video. Video. Subscribe with that bell on, really do appreciate that. Have a great day out there, friends. Stay awesome, you stay safe. The Domain is signing off.